Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am the Grateful Queen and this is a channel all about reselling online. I shop at thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, and the bins. I buy things to flip on sites like eBay and Poshmark. I hope to encourage you to buy secondhand and maybe even resell. I'm grateful to be self-employed and work from home, and I'd like to inspire you to make more money and love what you do. Oh, you're right, it does look big. Hey friends and welcome back. Today I have a thrift haul for you. It was actually stuff that I got at a rummage sale. So my plan for this video is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the shopping experience, a little bit about the sale, and I'll try and put some footage in there for you. And um, then I'll show you a haul of everything I got and I'll tell you why I bought it and where I'm going to sell it and what I hope to get it for. Does that sound good? If so, hit that like button and stay tuned. So this was a rummage sale at our local Grange. I found it on Craigslist. Is that how you say it? Grange? Grange? You know, like one of those little venues that's local to your area and they have events and stuff. Anyway, um, the prices were kind of high. However, there was a really sweet woman working the sale and I kind of went up and said, oh, there's so many things that I would get here, but the prices are a little high. Do you think tomorrow, are you gonna have 50% off day? And she's like, yeah, I think we might, but I'm just not sure. She said, I'll give you a deal. And I'm like, okay, if I buy like a bunch of stuff, would you consider like half price? She's like, honey, you just make a big pile and, um, and I'll give you a good deal. And I'm like, okay, cause dresses were 10 bucks. Skirts and tops were like five. So I, I spent $50 at this sale and I did the math. I can't remember exactly how many items I got, but it worked out to be $3.84 an item. So I think I did good, actually. That's pretty good. So let me show you what I got. Um, and I had my son and my partner with me, so I couldn't dig as long as I maybe wanted to. So this is a woman's suit. The brand is Tahari. Um, it's a size six. Now, I happen to know there are many different lines of Tahari, and some lines are higher end than others, and there's one, I think, you guys, quote me, eh, I think it's Ellie Tahari is like the highest, but if you guys know, put it in the comments. Anyway, Tahari, I didn't get this suit at first because I thought, I don't want to pay 10 bucks. I don't want to pay 10 bucks for anything, really, you guys, but it's the whole suit. This kind of like, um, tweed boucle b-o-u-c-l-e i don't know how to say it boucle style is really popular it's it doesn't have any flaws it's the skirt and the jacket so i left it on the rack i went to, i went and looked at shoes they had tons of shoes but nothing i wanted so i just put into my phone real quick tahari suit and things were going between like 50 and 75 40 and 75 i think so um look for this in an upcoming what sold video maybe in the fall we'll see how i did on that I got two of these dresses and I think they might be my best find. I'll tell you why. They are um, J. Jill, a newer J. Jill tag. They're a size large. That is still my best selling, most consistent selling brand in my eBay st store. And I think the style of these is awesome. I'm looking because I haven't put this stuff in the wash yet and I think one of them has a little spot. So they're a long, I'd say like a midi dress, almost like a sweater dress. I believe they're linen or a linen blend. That's what they, um, yeah, 59 linen, 22 cotton, 19 modal. These are awesome. So there's one in this taupe brown and one in gray. And I'm gonna put these up for like um, $49 with best offer and hope to get at least 35 because they're an awesome style, awesome size. J. Jill Large is like 
XL and other brands because they run big and they're linen and they're great style. Yeah, this one's got a little spot here. I'm just gonna spray some shout on it, let it sit overnight and put it in the wash. I think those will do well. This is a cool um, find too, you guys. Look at this little skirt. Um, the, the print and the color made me pick it up and go, hmm. So it's Marameco, which is a design, designer, and it's Marameco for anthropology. So that's awesome. Marameco did a really cool collaboration with Target, and um, that stuff is not as valuable, but the prints were awesome. I have sold some of their little kids' stuff. So I'll probably put this on Posh and I'll probably put it up for like 35 with best offer and hope to get maybe 20. This is cool too. So this is um, Marc Jacobs, which is a really good brand. It's teeny, it's a size two, but it's just a cotton denim skirt. It's in a very light wash. It looks so tiny. Mark MJ, Marc Jacobs, it looks teeny to me, but I guess that if you're a size two, you are teeny. Um, and I like that it has this frayed edging that's really popular right now. I'm gonna have to do comps on that because I don't know what Mark Jacobs is going for. Um, this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. I don't pick up all Lauren Ralph Lauren, but this is a size 12, so it's a larger size and it is gorgeous. Look at this dress, you guys. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. It is black with a fuchsia floral. It, um, what is the style called, you guys? If you know, let me know. It's got like a pleated waist. Is it a drop waist? And look at the neckline. It's not your regular, it's not quite square. I just think this is a really beautiful dress for a wedding or any occasion. And I'm gonna put that baby up high because I think it's gorgeous and someone might pay more. What do you guys think of this next piece? Tartan plaid skirt this is an older piece it might be vintage i'll do my research just pendleton i do not pick up all pendleton i pick up really cool pendleton pieces only um i this is a size eight petite it's aligned this is a classic old piece you guys i'm gonna do a little research on this um you can go onto pinterest you can google pendleton tags and you can go onto Pinterest and someone will have all the tags and the style, the font on Pendleton will tell you what the age of the item is, like what year this was. I got this because it was a, it's a classic, um, it's a classic piece, I would say. Don't pick up all Pendleton, check comps. I've sold a lot of the men's plaid shirts. If they're vintage too, they can do really well, but just your average sweater or jacket, no, the more recent pieces I personally wouldn't pick up, but um, I'm not a Pendleton expert or anything. But if this is vintage, my guess is it might be worth a little bit more. I don't know what this style is called, you guys. It's like almost like a schoolgirl. It's a straight skirt, but it's, um, oh, it's a faux wrap, though. Often they're a wrap. This is just a faux. Feels wool and it's lined. More to come on that, baby. I liked it. Remember, they originally wanted like five for skirts, I think. But anyway, I paid $3.84 a piece. I love this piece. Okay, this is a very interesting find. I totally love this. Okay, I haven't seen this before, have you guys? So it says an original Carol Anderson. I don't know who that is, for Cabby. So this is a collaboration piece, which means it was probably like a limited edition um, piece. It's a long denim maxi skirt with a, like a released hem, a lot of distress and fade. This is intentional, you guys. It's not like it's, it's not dirty. Look at all the embroidery detail on that and look at these cool buttons. I don't know anything. I didn't search this first. Cabby sells well for me. A lot of people just like the newer label Cabby. I buy almost all Cabby and I sell it on eBay in the $20 range. Um, I'll do my research on this skirt, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get the, guess that I can probably get like 25 or 30 for this. It's a really cool piece. I'll put modest in the title because it's long. Um, I'll put probably boho in the title, embroidery, long maxi denim, and it has an intentional frayed released hem. I love this. I mean, I don't know that I could pull that off, but someone's gonna look great in that. 
This I got because it was new with tags and it's plus size. The brand is Lane Bryant. This is a, a pretty big size. Yeah, it's a size 24. Um, it doesn't say what it originally cost. Focus for the people, will you? I don't know if it's gonna focus for you, but anyway. You probably all know the Lane Bryant tag, but it's a popular plus size. And I bought this because it was new with tags and it's a cute skirt. 25 bucks maybe? I'll put it on there with best offer and hope and pray <laughs> for my goal of 20, but we'll see. This I got because it was new with tags also and it's a plus size. Talbots, Talbots does okay for me if it's a current, um, if it's a good style and a good piece. And then this is Talbot's plus size. You guys, I'm so sorry. There, there you go, Talbot's. Cute print on there, right? Nice cotton print, good colors. Maybe 20 bucks. This I got because it was new with tags. Ooh, I, I, this was Saturday and it's only been a couple of days, but I still don't even remember all this stuff. Did you guys check out my video on my free sale? where I went to a sale and everything was free. I, I made that video. These are a plus size, not your daughter's jeans, and they're new with tags. Yes, that's awesome. White, new with tag jeans, plus size. This stuff's pricey, man. Not your daughter's jeans is pricey. I don't pick up all your not your daughter's jeans anymore. I used to. I, I used to get so excited, and every time I saw a pair, I'd pick them up no matter what the size. Um, but they don't sell as well as they used to for me personally. Let, let us know in the comments if you're having a different experience. What I've decided for myself right now, and everything changes because the market's always changing, my business can be changing. Right now I'm just buying the larger sizes and they have to be cheap, like less than five bucks because of the larger sizes I can still get 24 to 34. Oh, I love this piece. It's so not my style, but someone's gonna love it. It's a loft dress and I got it because Loft sells well for me. Not Ann Taylor, but Loft. Um, this is size zero. A lot of people say they'll pick up any size. It doesn't matter, but, for, and, and I will too, if it's a great brand or great style. However, um, in my experience, larger sizes do better. This retailed for 69 bucks. It's just a women's pink little dress. It's really cute. And I hope to get 20 or 25 for that. I like that. And this is my last piece and I think maybe the best one. Tell me what you think is the best one. $50 for all of this stuff, which I still think is a little high, but then $3.84 isn't that high. So maybe I did okay. We'll see what they sell for and that will tell us. This I saw right when I walked in and I was like, oh, I want this, but $10 a dress, no. So I had to make sure I found some other stuff. It's J. Jill, this is the older tag. That's why with the other ones I've been saying newer tags. See how that's like a cursive print? Will you please focus? There we go, size medium. This is a 100% silk long maxi dress in black. I mean, really, it's tank. It's like a muted black and it's got like a layered hem. I will definitely put lag and look in my title. If you've watched my videos before, you'll hear me say the same thing now, which is lag and look is a keyword to put in your title. If you have things that fit the like um, women's style that is very layered and boxy, like how a, a hip art teacher would dress, lots of linen, kind of shapeless tunics and dresses. It's a really cool style, um, but I will put that in this. And this is an absolutely gorgeous piece. I kind of want to try it on. Um, don't worry, not on the video. I mean, like, I might put, I might try it on. I have a couple silk dresses, black silk dresses, that are like my go-to dress if I'm going to a nice dinner and I'm not sure what the dress is gonna be. I'll put on like this black simple dress that can be casual or um, dressy, and I love it. So, I love silk, do you guys? So that is what I got at the rummage sale. What do you think? Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe on the way out. That'll let you know if you hit the little bell when I put out a new video. And I'd love to hear from you so we can talk in the comments. Bye guys.